So the last Planning session, D &D. on the last session, we left off with the party making their way through the forest. A couple of deadly encounters, one with a very large boneworm, meeting an old friend Shadow Yu who showed them the rest of the way to the portal. With a relaxing and refreshing day spent in the oasis, the time finally came. The moon's high in the sky overhead, the tree crackling and moaning as it stretched and opened, revealing a doorway. Uh, you saw behind it a colorful and vibrant world, much like and unlike your own. The woods of the trees being deep purple and vibrant reds, the leaves ranging in all colors from pastel pinks to vibrant blues. This, the wind that hit you immediately filled you with a sense of happiness and the smells of sweets, or like a, a sweet scent filled your chest with warmth. Uh, the sky in the background was filled with pinks, oranges, looking like a beautiful sunset. Mistress, though only leaving home a few months ago, it's felt much longer. But what really drew your attention was the figure, seven and a half foot tall, Herbog. A warm smile on his face, violet fur with specks and patches of a familiar pink. He wears light leather armor. Uh, Yakua adorns his back with the same metal as Mistress, but with a slightly bluish tint to it. Near a tree next to him, you see a large staff topped with a mossy rock and a large beard on his face. But he smiles at all of you, opening his arms welcomely. What do you do? We haven't stepped through the portal, right? Nope. Okay. We haven't? Uh, no. That was just what we saw through. Oh, uh, saw through. All right. So I first want to ask Callisto if he's okay doing this. I probably should have asked before, but <laughs> like, hey, while we drag you through, like on the ship and through the woods. Mm -hmm. I can't do the corpse husband voice. Uh -huh. <laughs> He'll say basically he's down to go along for the ride. Okay. You still have like I'll a couple of days give, left of charm. I'll give everyone a final look over to make sure that everyone is prepared. Is everyone ready? Um, absentmindedly rubbing the leather bracelet you gave me. Accepting the fact that this is the literal worst idea of his life, yes, X is ready. Okay, so I will grab Val's hand in one of my hands, and Oladim's hand in another one of my hands, and like make the motion like everyone else should join hands. Or hold Soul's hand. <laughs> I'll hold Callista's hand. <laughs> I'll hold close to his other hand. I just think of Val like having to lean down so far to hold this bear's hand. Uh, and then I'll lead them through. As you guys walk across the small lake, it only goes to ankle deep for most of you, maybe a little bit of mid calf, but the colorful fish spread a pathway for you. And as you get closer, it's not that the temperature gets warmer. But you can definitely feel that while you're in a very hot, humid condition on the other side, the wind that's coming through and blowing into your faces is a little drier in the temperature. You can't really describe it, it's just more comfortable. But as you're all holding hands, you get to the portal and then realize that this doorway is about six feet wide. So if you continue holding hands, it's going to be an awkward, like, mistress goes in and then all of them and Val, like... <laughs> But you do make it through. Standing about six feet from where you entered, towering over most of you, you see the large furbog who takes a couple step forward and wraps his hands around Mistress and gives her a hug. Um, I'll whisper to him. Um, not necessarily out of earshot of everyone else, um, but basically they have things to talk about when they get home. 
Of, of course, sister. Um, that is completely fine. Uh, who are your friends? Let's introduce ourselves. I am. You may call me brother. Uh, <laughs> I. Um, he does take a second to look all of you up and down quickly, and much like his sister, it's very. He's very perceptive. Uh, I see that you have been made part of the family, so if that is the case, then please just feel free to call me brother. Mm. Um, they call me mistress here. Or Fluffy. He chuckles at that. Um, and as you all look around, you notice that the portal behind you has already closed. But you do see a very similar tree to the one that was in the center of the oasis, but this one is just... There's a little clearing around it, but it looks like nothing special compared to the uh, forest around you. Um, holding up my right hand, I'll... Well, I guess we separated after we walked through. Um, I'll introduce all of them first. <laughs> I'm like, hey! No real names, right? <laughs> no real full names. He will smile and goes, I have no ill intentions towards family, but while you are here in our world, that would be a smart rule to go by. So, so the fake name I've made up <laughs> is Yellow. <laughs> he chuckles. Okay. Uh, nice Val to meet just, you, face to face. I Val just slowly drops his head. And then don't. I don't shake his hand because I remember the rule to probably not do that. And then I dance by myself. <laughs> Dude, you're gonna break all the rules first. No, so, not with him. It's by myself. Uh, so Can I look, not dance he general? will look down to all of them. Nice to meet you. I, I've already said I'm brother, but... And he will extend a hand to shake your hand. Just try. The height Don't difference. Do it. do it. Don't do it. What? I'll shake your hand. It's a firm grip. No. Okay. Seems I'm genuine. Just... Um, who else do we have here? We have already met the yellow, apparently. If you would to tell me fake names, other names, I do not mind. Just something I can call you by. Uh, I guess you can call me Scath. Scath it is. As your DM writes down notes because he needs to remember all of your <laughs> fake names. Scath? We probably should have talked about fake names before we... Yeah, you know, the, the word in Gaelic. Shadow. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know Sylvan, so. So he will ch now that I know that he will chuckle a little bit, seeing your general aura. Who else do we have to meet here? I see that there is a little bear, and he will walk over and pet Callisto's head. And... Uh, <laughs> and this is where Jake speaks to himself. They have a small conversation that I'm not going to roleplay out. Why not? Howard. Uh, hello, little one. Hello, big man. Yeah! <laughs> oh, he can talk. That, that is interesting. This and one, and I'll, I'll point to Exa, not say names. Uh, this, this one wanted him awoken, and he is in our company for a few more days until he decides to stay with us or go on his own. It is possible I made the grave mistake of asking Mistress to bestow sentience upon a, <laughs> a non-sentient creature. Well, if he does need to make his choice... He will motion around him. There is very few safer and nicer places than this to 
become yourself. If that makes sense. Uh, assuming I'm standing right next so, to wait, Val, I'm wait, going to like kick him not, in the shoe. He's not done with Exa yet. Okay. He will look, um, and he'll extend a hand to you. What may I call you? Uh, you can call me King. <laughs> <laughs> call you what? <laughs> King, as it is uh, technically the title of the body Exa inherited. Yes. Uh, <laughs> that one will be easy King. for me to remember. And he will lastly turn to you, Val, one of the few people you have ever had to slightly look up to in your life, physically. I'll extend a hand to him and give him a nod and say, you may call me Val. He gives you a smile and shakes her hand. It's nice to meet you, Val. Well, it's getting a little late. We should probably be off. So, for clarification, the day before this, did you guys... I'm not going to make you, like, have exhaustion because it's about a half a day's journey to her camp. But I'm guessing you spent the entire day in the Oasis pretty much lounging around and chatting and just killing time? Yeah. Okay, so... As you progress through the forest, um, is there anything you guys would like to say, do, uh, talk about? There's going to be no checks for this. You're being led through the homeland of Mistress and her brother by two people who are from here. So the safe path is known, but you have about half a day to kill in the Fae. Or like half um... a day. I guess I'll, uh, oh. like, if when we point off, like, go and, like, oh, well, here's a plan, I'll name it off. Like, I'll give journal information of what it would be known of that plan, and, like, if he Boy. wants to chime in to any other... He pretty much lets you go on and kind of just smiles and chuckles at you and, like, teaching them, like... You remember that there's not many uh he's just finding it entertaining um while you're here please make use of all of the things that we have to offer you our family but also try not to make trouble is all i ask nothing against you just some people from the material plane don't respect other parts of nature. Uh, as you continue through the forest, you will see animals that you were all used to. Little squirrels, maybe some skunks, rabbits, foxes, deer. But none of them look like what you're used to. The skunk, instead of having a single white stripe down its tail, the white stripe starts at its head but goes into multiple swirl designs. And as they get to the tail, the tail goes from a black to gray to white gradient. The squirrels come in all colors. There's blues, greens, reds, and they usually have some sort of... Like an, or like some sort of a design into their fur. Uh, some of the birds that fly by are... Oh look, that's a robin, but it's vibrant green. The fuck? And you see multiple of them that aren't... They seem to be coming out to observe you as, like, you're new here and you're not normal here. But you don't ever feel threatened. It's just kind of like they're seeing the new oddity that's in town. They're curious. Yeah. Um. Did I roll for food this morning? You can have a roll for that food, yeah. Okay. Uh, because I would be assuming if this is good. Let me, hold on. Pick a good... Okay. I'm going to try pancakes. <laughs> and hopefully, if they're not deadly weapons, you I can... would have hoped uh, to... And I'll give you this. Val is there and you guys have a day off. You have advantage <laughs> because he's trying to teach you after your last thing. 
Okay. Is that too far I'll to say, Val, or would you do that? No, I would definitely do that. I can only <laughs> carry so many hockey pucks. <laughs> Hopefully, if it's not bad, uh, because my food cooks for seven normally. Yes. Uh, like leftovers, I'd like on the way, like the half day journey to home, um, like just casually share with her brother. Uh, yeah. Like, hey, this is material plain food. Hey, that's pretty good. That was pretty it good. Really good. Out, Val. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, those are some pretty good pancakes. He, he, he gave you that. We're not gonna call it after your last mistake. He gave you that. <laughs> yeah. Um. As you like, take out some pancakes and share them with him. He finds them intriguing. Like, there's a lack. Like, are you giving him syrup and stuff along with it, or are you just giving him straight up pancakes? Uh. I would assume that we're not stopping for anything. No. So it's just a pancake. He finds it intriguing and he's like, mm, the texture is so fluffy and airy, but the taste is somewhere between like lackluster and just right. These, do, do we have a term for material plane people? Awesome. <laughs> Immigrants. Um, depends on how, Ladies. um, offensive you want to be. Not offensive. Then probably just, like, otherworlders or something. Okay. Um, mateys. <laughs> um, the otherworlders, they, they love sweet food, but they like putting sweet food on top of things. So at this point, then I'll like hand him another pancake um, with like syrup on it. He will like skeptically take it and like hold his finger up and he's like, it's, it's tree sap. And then like take a bite and his like eyes go wide and he like starts shoving it into his mouth little by little. And he's like, you're, you're going to have to teach my wife how to make these. And like is licking I'll... his fingers. <laughs> and I'll point back to, to Val and uh, he taught me and continues to teach me today was a good batch he'll look you in the eyes Val you I like you already I just chuckle if you're anything like your sister I think you'll come to like all of us with time <laughs> he chuckles at that um, so as you guys get closer to the village, I'm just going to bring you to the map because, you know, that seems better to explain all this with. So, let me position that right. Ooh, ah. Such a good map. Uh, as you get to a clearing, the clearing in this map is much bigger than the clearing actually is. I just wanted to have enough room to show everything and not have trees on top of it. So while the clearing in this map it shows it being a couple miles wide, the clearing is really only like a mile wide in total. But maps and details are hard. Um... You do enter. Yeah, but that map is fantastic. Thank you. Uh, Did you make it incarnate? Yeah. Yeah. I bought a pro membership yesterday and Ooh, gave and Jake the, the deets. And I went out right. wild. I recognized the trees. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, how, okay, so we when we left, we were a few weeks right after like peak summer. Yes. How is it here? It's the same it's the same constant you've always known it to be. Like okay. while there is some semblance of change in this phase, especially as after your brother telling you you were gone for many seasons, mm -hmm. it's not as drastic as the uh, material planes. Here it's a lot of 
like you might get some very light snowfall in the dead of like in the dead center of winter and it might get decently warm but like the temperature ranges from like maybe 30 to 70 maybe 80 okay. constantly like okay. most middays are your out like it's not going to be drastic desert weather or florida weather or just menagerie coast weather it's okay. pretty solid i love how florida is part of this world yeah <laughs> I'm using IRL examples give your deal a break uh you do enter a clearing that's about a mile wide uh in front of you, you notice a very large, what looks like fortification. Uh, these tree trunks that are cut and stuck into the ground stand around 12 feet tall. It's a large wall. Uh, there are watchtowers on all corners of them. Uh, it is in a octagon shape. You do notice a gate open to the south of you, and there are some homes inside that you can see. Uh, in Off to the left... Sorry, off to the northeast, you do, or northwest, you do see, now that you're out of the tree cover, you do see large mountain spires that jut up miles into the air that seem to be maybe 50 or 60 miles off from where you currently are. Uh, some of the miles even go up so high that the clouds are cutting off the peaks from your view. Um, I was talking about from the center, Bo. From the center. Uh, but one thing that does. One second. Pause for dog cam. Give me one second, sorry. Rose for subs. If I yeah. had a dog cam set up, I would, but it's set up for Zoom right now, so it would just be my face. But while we're waiting, let's get some Thors in chat. Okay, I'm back. Okay, never mind. He's the one that's barking anyway. Yeah, he's Loki doesn't bark. <laughs> Unless somebody's, like, at the door, at the door. Yeah, we don't have a Loki emote, so. Yeah, that's fair. Um. So... Uh, you do notice, as I get back to my notes tab, uh, standing in the open gates, leaning against one of them, you see about... This is a ways off, but you do see a fur bog with vibrant red fur. But, uh, brother will look down to mistress, um, that is my wife waiting for us, I hope. You don't mind, but she has been eager to meet you. I asked her to wait here just so it wouldn't be too much of an overload at the gate. Um, For my notes, I don't have a red family. I know you don't. Okay. Been 70 years. Shit's happened. Okay. Got your ass. Colors of the, the genetic color of red. I, I gave you what hap what you knew 70 years ago. Jake, what color? What color was brother predominantly? Uh, purple with some patches of mistress's pink. Okay. And he asked me what specifically, if Could, I wanted to. Well, he just like, said that his her. his wife wanted to meet you, but she asked, um, her to wait at the town so you wouldn't get like overloaded right when you came back. Got it. Um. But you, the clearing is there, uh, off to the right of the, outside of the encampment, off to the right, you do see farm fields that look to be full of wheat and vegetables, uh, melons. There's a small orchard in there that has some trees growing fruit. Looks to be very well maintained and, uh, well kept. But, as you all close the distance and approach the mile, you do see... Uh, half mile, you do see the Furbolg in clear detail. Stands around about six foot eleven, and wears similar armor to brother, with a similar yaku on her back. And she doesn't run up to meet you; she stays at the gate. But as you all progress in to the gate, she does come up. It is so nice to meet you all. Uh, I'm, I'm, brother's wife. 
Um, you may call me sister if need be. Uh, but she does focus specifically on you, mistress, and like walks up to you and kind of awkwardly like is deciding if she wants to go for a hug or just to like grab your hand. I'll go for a hug. Also, I'm so glad that I've 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 given you the opportunity to just have every NPC name, just like brother, so, yeah. sister, Bro cousin, mother, brother's wife. <laughs> but she once you go in for the hug, she like visible tension in her body relaxes and she like embraces you and goes I have heard so much about you sister I it is so nice to meet you finally it's nice to meet you too I I honestly it's been so long since I've I've been in contact with my brother I I didn't know until a few weeks ago in well material plane time that I had additional family to meet. Um, well, until a few weeks ago, we kind of thought you were lost. We hadn't. I've, me and brother have been together for near, I believe, a decade is what the materials call it. The other worlders. We've been together quite a while. And he mentioned that you had children? Well, we have been trying for quite a while. And she kind of looks a little off put, but yes. I'm sure you guys will make great parents. Well, thank you. Um, here, let us show you the village. Uh, and she does turn to all of you and introduce herself as sister, and unless you guys want to roleplay doing all of your same name introductions, it gets done. Um, as you enter the village, you all notice one very particular thing. Only about 60% of the village has actual built houses. There's a solid about 40% of the houses that lay in ruins. Uh, maybe a foundation, a couple walls that have survived, but they're broken down and not usable. Uh, but she does show you to the main house, which, actually, let's just, I'm gonna do this, because I can ping things. Uh, where did I put it? Because I made oh, a map. map. You made another map. Yeah. I'm the map. I'm the map. Uh, why does it have to be so particular? Okay. So she does, they do show you around the city, around the town. You enter and you walk by a few houses that look like they're maintained, but not lived in. And as you get to what they would consider the town center, you do see a nice well, a rather large well at that, about 10 feet across with a large overhang. And hanging, or mounted in the middle, you do see a orb that glows black. Or maybe like a dark blue. Um, and Brother will pipe up, uh, I don't know how much Mistress has told you. And also ignore the shadows on the fucking roofs, I just noticed that. Uh, oh. Yeah, I didn't realize that when I was putting them on, but it works. Uh, I don't know how much Mistress has told you about our world, but, um... There is no day or night cycle here. It is always this. And he points up to the sky to where that beautiful sunset is. So that orb in the middle there is a thing we procured from an elven city quite a ways off. And it helps us keep track of the passing days. It just gives us a little more semblance of what's happening. So currently it shows dark blue black for uh it is nighttime um so if you have any questions about it feel free to ask but we can definitely manage some things uh this house and he points to the house that is much larger every other house in this town while standing about i was looking in awe at the surroundings 
Uh, every house in this town is much bigger than you're used to. Uh, these houses are built for people that are on average seven to eight feet tall, or seven to eight feet tall. Um, so the door frames alone are on average like nine to ten feet. Not all. The... feels at home. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was typing that in Twitch chat. <laughs> <laughs> Went in. So, like, this is made for people who are larger. Um, the big house in the center is still only a one-story house, though the roof on it seems to tower over the rest. Uh, possibly having, like, a large attic or something. Uh, this is the house of the clan leader. Um, it's where whoever is currently leading the clans resides. Currently, the only clans in the city or in the town are the Osling clan which is i probably butchered that pronunciation sorry mistress it is That's our fine. clan and what you would call the gray clan or the uh, mountain clan i guess would be the uh common interpretation oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> i know why you just call it gray clan yeah uh slive the the b and the h make a v is that what you're saying for the other one? Yeah, the gray okay. yeah. is slave. The slave clan, or gray as you would call them, uh, the, or the mountain clan. Uh, you will see a few of them around, though lately they have been minding to their own. Uh, which is completely acceptable. We all coexist here and our clan is definitely on some harder times here. Uh, my wife came to us when she was adventuring one day, and we took her in after we, uh, became fond of each other. And his wife will blush a little bit and, like, grab his arm. But, um, I was not told there were so many of you. Uh, I have cleaned two houses. They are somewhat dusty we use our free time to clean the outsides and make the place presentable but there is some work that can be done easily to help clean out the rest of them so you can all have your own places to stay and i promise you that uh wrote this down specifically uh these houses are yours without obligation let or lean a freely given gift there is no other intentions I have as a fae, I swear it on my name. But if you guys would like to pick houses, I know it is late, I know you are probably tired. You can sleep and we can talk about what is to happen in the morning. I know you have a reason for being here. Val starts to say thank you and then stops himself. He, he uh, notices in just a little corner of a smile. You don't have to worry about that with me, but I very much respect the precaution. It's good to know my sister is traveling in company with careful people. It's less mistrust of you and more practice among those I do trust. I completely understand. I'm not offended in any way. Um, mistress, if you would like to sleep in the manor, we have your old room ready. Um, but if you would like to take a house and have your privacy, I completely understand as well. The manor. <laughs> You're gonna say the um, ball look at him. <laughs> the manor. Um. Yes, that's that's fine. What's what's um, fine? Which option are you taking? Your own house? Or you're oh, just... yeah. I'll the manor, my old room. Okay. Um, um, we do have a guest bedroom in the manor, if any of you would like, but if not, I can show you all two houses you can sleep in, depending on how you would like to sleep. I'll go around and see if anyone wants to sleep in the same house. I'm down with whatever. There are... There are a few houses that will need a little bit of work, but... With all of your rings of cleanliness and everything, it shouldn't be hard to get them. There are two houses that he said he specifically cleared out. Um. Uh. But the house. So there's an extra room in the manor. There's two houses cleared out. And there's if... another four he can quickly prepare. 
So. Or could there be the option of just setting another... They're... They're used to sleeping together. They've not gotten this much privacy in all my times traveling with them. If need be, the other option is just to set up rooms within the same house. If someone is more comfortable not necessarily sleeping well, away from everyone. Most of the houses so have part. an extra room, but I figured if you have been traveling the way you have, maybe a little bit of privacy would be something they like, but if they would like to bunk together, that is completely fine. I'm good with whichever. Well, I need... I just kind of shrugged and looked at all of them and Exxon. Look, you look. All I need to have is a chair to sleep, so let's bunk together. Let's okay. do it. So, one house, two houses. One big house. <laughs> um, most of the two bigger houses that are in decent repair are being used by the Gray family. Um... All our biggest houses to us. Whichever find. is the biggest of the two that you have prepared, I think we will be we'll more find than the way. with. Yes. Yes. That can work. Um, and he'll turn to his wife and whisper something, and she'll just nod off and head back to the manor. Uh, if you could all follow me, we, got to, we can go this way. And he'll lead you to this house, uh, which... The garden outside, you've noticed that most of the houses in here have small gardens connected to them, and most of them are overgrown. This one looks like it was recently manicured, but not with a lot of detail. But as you enter, uh, there's a little dust, every, there's a little dust, but with the combination of all of your rings of cleanliness, some prestidigitation, and just manual help, he does quickly within about five minutes get the house ready for you there is two bedrooms um that you can separate into and all of them there is a fireplace that he will bring in wood for you and if you request a stool he will bring you one so you can sleep next to your fireplace uh but he sets you all up and then motions to mistress to follow as in to go back to the main house um last thing uh, your friends, if you need anything, please just come to the manor. Uh, let yourselves in. We will be as accommodating as we can while you're here. But I hope you all have a good night, and we will see you probably in the afternoon, because it is late as hell. <laughs> and Mistress is staying in the big house, right? Yes. That's the manor? Okay. But someone has the option of staying in the same house. I was just making sure I have my houses right. Yeah, no. Okay. So you guys are down here, we'll just... Uh, it would help if my GM was on that map. Mm. So, Mistress is... If I can remember where the freehand... Mistress is in the black X. And you guys... Val, well, we're going with blue. We're in this house. But he motions to to follow after he has put out the, the group bed. Um... You said you had something to talk to me about? I do. So I left so long ago and yes, while you assumed the worst and it took me a while to get any type of message back to you. happened to our mother well when a handful of generations passed or not generations but uh, seasons passed and our methods were still telling us that the massive shark hunts were happening and that the balance will be upset if they are not stopped we had assumed that the worst had happened to you when going after you, she brought me and another member of the Grey family, 
her uh, father and we decided that if it was too much for you we would probably need numbers on closing of the portal and entering into the other world we got in contact with Delilah Delilah told us she hadn't seen you at all it is possible she cannot watch over the entire forest on that side by herself so we were stuck there for a day wondering if something with time had happened to you or if maybe you had just slipped past Delilah and un unmeaning to but on our way out of the buffet we caught wind of Batum mother and grey father were livid um, and mother and the and mother and grey father are not easily persuaded when they get their ideas about them so we tracked him north um, small town to small town not really towns I would say more of camping settlements uh, he destroyed them all in his wake. We followed the trail of his scales and his stones. But when we got near the magic in the area, it didn't work. It, I tried to summon my friend. I tried to... And he'll just wave his hand uh, matter-of-factly and you see a crown of like vibrant colored flowers appear and he just holds it as if it was effortless nothing worked the entire area seemed to be void um and we exited that area and then tried to go from another and every time we got close to Batum's lair something happened the magic wasn't there when we tried to sense it, when we tried to feel it, when we tried to use it. Nature was disturbed. The area was drained or tainted. I don't know, we don't we never found out, but one day while hiding we saw Batum leave his lair and we tried to go in to just gather information, see if we could lay a trap, or wait, or learn, and Batum came back while we were there, and the magic worked inside his cave, we don't know why it did, but we didn't try and fight him outright, we tried to run, we realized without a trap he was too powerful for even the three of us, so we ran. And nearing the end of this anti-magic place, he caught up with us, and Mother did her job as clan leader, preserved the clan. I don't know what happened to her, she was still alive last I saw her, and she promised me she would get out of there. She had magics that neither you or I can access, places to move around. So if she just stalled long enough and then stepped through the trees to somewhere else i don't know where she could be but she had gone to one of the other places we knew of and got stuck or trapped or hurt or something i don't know or maybe she came back into the fae somewhere else and left and happened the same way as you did where she jumped ahead in time i have been waiting okay. he'll that was head sorrowfully, but let you talk. Well, this is me clarifying two things. Yes. Um, where they went to Batum's cave, was that Fey or Material? Material. This happened after okay. they stepped through the gate. Okay. If Mistress's mother was clan leader, would Mistress then pick out, like, does that make her brother clan leader now? In your absence, yes. Well, I'm the oh, baby her, Yeah, anyway. her brother is older. Sorry, I thought he was younger. Yes, that her brother is now clan leader, which is why he is residing inside the okay. manor. Okay. 
continue. Well, we have been looking, we have been trying, but the clan is down to six people. Sorry, it's down to five people now. Six, counting you. We don't have the resources, the people to chase bait them. If we were to send all six of us, the forest would fall. Our alliance with many entities around here would crumble. Hearing from you is the happiest I've been in many, many seasons. Minus Marion's sister, which Said you can minus. tell me her real name. He looks at you and winks and goes, you know those things are personal, but he'll look around and he'll whisper in your ear her real name. Give me a second. Gotta find it in okay. my notes. Okay. Um Okay. Okay. <laughs> um as soon as I could, with Yellow's help, I tried to reach Thank you out. For using my fey name. <laughs> I actually thought of one. I looked one up. I was thinking back on it, and you know how your name has a certain theme. I was yeah. thinking about it in my head, not using a computer while you were talking, um, <laughs> and I could be named Yaro. Yaro. It's it's a type of flower. But do you okay. know do you know Sylvan? <laughs> Yaro isn't Sylvan. Oh, okay. It's a type of flower. Cause you... technically Soul has heard Mistress's real name. Yes, and... in the context of sending a message. And he will look at you after you mention that and go So, um, am I to take it that you are Attached to the yellow one, or... What? What's up? He, uh, my brother is asking me while y'all are Asleep. in your own house. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh... No. No, um... They're, they're friends. They're family. But no, not not the yellow for me. It was he knew it was your name because because how else would you have trusted a message from a strange voice in your head? He looks up thoughtfully and like nods, like okay, that makes sense. Well, I'm glad you were able to get in contact. Your friends seem reliable and powerful. I'm glad, but. As soon as I could, I had Yellow send messages to Mother, to Marigold. Let's let's just <laughs> to Marigold, um, and it it makes sense now. It her messages, she could never send a message back. If she was in one of those zones of no magic, then. There's a high possibility that it never reached her for her to reply. Now she could... And he'll choke up a little. She could be dead. I'm not going to lie, it's been a long time. But, you thought I was dead. And he'll smile. But this is our mother we're talking about. It takes a lot more than some dragon to kill that fiery old one. We could also be trying to fix the no magic. There was something wrong with nature. It's not the normal lack of magic that those damned arcanists use. Do you know the way out to Batum's cave? It was like you guys are outside of the manor now. Mm -hmm. Um, and he, like, leans against the door, like, stalling to go in. No. Uh, yes, but no. It was... If I, if I go with you, 
I might be able to help find it. But... It was so far north. It was in the mountains. It's been... It's been a long time, sister. How many seasons since you've been back? Give me a moment. And he'll, like, sit there and, like, put his fingers on his temple and he's trying to do mental calculations. Think around from material plane worlds around 70 years. You've been gone nearly a century. I'm sorry. I don't blame you. This this place, as beautiful, as amazing as it is, it's also wild and uncontrollable. Mother was worried that you had gotten lost in a time loop and she was mad that she hadn't gone herself. But we can only move forward. So, you know, place his hand on the door and push it open and much of the interior of your house looks the same as it once did. There are a few added decorations, nothing ostentatious or possessive, but a couple of nice, like, Furbolg-esque things to keep. A few, like, beautiful stones that were probably found. Maybe uh, you see part of a blue glowing crystal that just grew in a weird fashion that he seemed to keep. And you open up and it's the greeting room. And as you step back further, it's the large kitchen that sometimes the manor used to feed most of the village when the village was bigger than it currently is. You see the doorways to your right and left. There are small hallways with a door on each side, leading to the four bedrooms of the manor. Um, in the back right would be what was your mother's old room, but what um, brother now uses as his room. Mm -hmm. Across from that was the guest hall. The guest room, and on the left side, at the front, the sorry, the bottom left would be your old room, and the top right would be brother's old room. But he will walk over to your door and open it, and it looks almost like the day you left it. But you can tell that it was recently cleaned, as in if they probably didn't touch it, out of you know, what most families do. Mm -hmm. But. Some of your small knickknacks and possessions you left behind still sit there on shelves. Nothing of substantial value because of how your people are, but... It's your bed. I will leave um, you. Um... If you, unless you have anything else to talk about, I will leave you to sleep. I guarantee there is going to be more of a conversation tomorrow. I'm sure. I'm sure the others will have questions too. They just are bewildered to to all these exciting views to know what to ask. We have a small party planned for tomorrow. The Gray family are going to be cooking some of their uh, special pork roast. We uh, found a large boar in the forest earlier that was nearing his end and gave us his life. So. And that's going to be safe for my friends. You know that nobody here has ill intentions towards them. I swear it on my name, sister. I swear it on mother's name. Sleep well, I will see you in the morning. And he will take his leave unless you stop him. No. Back to the other house. Are you guys doing anything or are you just passing the fuck out? I'm going to explore the house. Uh, so the main setup of this house is it looks like a large common room. Um, probably about like 15 foot by 15 foot. So not that large, but there's a fireplace in one corner. In the other corner, there seems to be some pantries and what looks like where you could start a fire and put a cooking pot for a stove. Uh, 
just some st base storage. Uh, there is two be uh, two doors in the back uh, that lead to separate small but you know tavern size bunks. Uh, just sim simple rooms. Each one has a dresser and a nightstand. Uh, the beds look freshly made. He would have replaced the sheets and the pillows for you while you were there. Um, but all seems well. I mean, if you want to make, do you want like make an investigation check, or you just slightly? Explain? No, I was just exploring. Aldum, I assume you're taking the fireplace. You know me. Exa, Sol. You know me. Um, I do not care. I'll have a bed that'd be pretty cool. There is uh, only two beds, so unless one of you wants to bunk up, you're sleep one sleeping on the floor. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Take oh, the beds. Uh, I have a sleeping bag. Oh. Excellent soul. Can't believe you. You had your option of a bed by the big house. Exa and Soul take beds. Val takes the sleeping bag. The beds are very comfortable. Uh, very finely made. The mattresses are probably some of the best you've slept on in a while. The pillows are just as nice. All of them. The stool is average. The fire is average. Though the wood they're burning, so you have a fireplace to sleep next to, is like this deep teal wood. That's burning and giving off like a greenish flame. No, Val. Uh, I know this is a little bit of my old self coming back through here, but I bet they have some good drugs to take back and sell. You know, I was, I'm not going to lie, I was looking for the liquor cabinet. Make an I, I investigation didn't... roll. Jake, do you have Fey alcohol? I guess you'll find out. <laughs> I couldn't neither of them, me. neither of them find alcohol with fives. <laughs> okay. Mine be with advantage because we're both looking. You, he rolled, or else I would have given it to you advantage. Can oh. mine be an advantage because we're both looking? <laughs> no, you both rolled separately, so no advantage. Um, the Fey but... Wild shouldn't it be an Arcana check. <laughs> <laughs> you all are find... you even proficient? I'd, I'd sort of feel like this home was not stocked very well. It was ready for visitors. That's fine. I, I'd feel like it was ready specifically for visitors and they don't want rowdy visitors. Do you still have a bottle on you? I already looked. I don't. You guys went through a lot of alcohol on that journey. <laughs> we did. I should have taken more from the ship before we left. Who always keeps alcohol on him? Not Exa. Sleep, unless you have anything else to say, sleep finds you all. Comfortable. Nice. It's unnerving to wake up to the sky being the same as it was when you fell asleep. But as you all awake, stretch. Hungry. Step outside and it's that same sunset. I try to get up a little earlier than the other three in the house. And I want to go outside and look at that garden. Okay. Uh, probably wake all of them, but he probably just, you know, you're just walking through the common room, small place. But as you go and look at the garden, it doesn't look to be... It's not fruits or vegetables or anything that's edible. It's multiple colors of flowers that you walked by, and though you don't really know much about landscaping per se, you could definitely tell at one point in time there was a design to it. So it looks like it's not the most well kept? No, by far not. Like the ones when you went to the main house and you saw the manor, that garden looked immaculate, and you could see the design and the idea the person had. And, like, the other two houses uh, here and here, 
as you walked by them, you could definitely see that, okay, I can see what they were going for. But the other houses, ooh, you can see them and they're in varying states of disarray. From like, okay, that one hasn't been manic like kept up in like probably a year plus. That one was probably done like last month. This one was done probably like a week or two ago. But you can obviously see that there hasn't been enough time and effort put into it to like bring it back to its former glory. So this is a really long stretch for me because it's been many years. But thinking back to the little flower and herb gardens that my mother would try to keep mm -hmm. back in the slums. Yes. Can I try to... Because I have like an hour to burn before everybody else gets up. Can I try to start like pulling weeds and yeah. cleaning it up? Make a nature check. You do so. And it's not ornate. But it's better than you expected it to be. Because you're like, ah oh, fuck, we're gonna we're gonna go for it. But you do, you in the hour you take a lot of the weeds out, you take out one of your daggers and trim up some of the plants and cut off things that have overgrown and though it's not looking nearly as nice as the three houses you've seen that are like well manicured it definitely looks much better than it once was I'm satisfied with that but as the rest I'm just thinking of holding the entire time I'm doing it good to know uh, the rest of you as you wake what are you guys doing? Nexus. Three can. Uh, is gonna start uh, drawing things. I figured you probably did that before you went to sleep and along the path yesterday of just like, ooh, animals. He's gonna keep doing that because for now he doesn't have anything to do. <laughs> okay. So Nexus, is when you like get to a hotel, but you're not the person. You're just traveling with somebody who's there to do something. So you're like, uh. I'm along for the ride, man. Okay. Flip through daytime television, stuff in there, pull out all the cabinets. There's no, okay. So, what are you doing? Bible. Um, I'm uh, doing nothing. I We get our breakfast every day for Mistress, so I'll go find Mistress. Okay, so as you leave the house, you do see Val, who is kneeling on the ground, arm, like his sleeves rolled up. Uh, do you even have sleeves? Uh, ish. Okay, I was about to say, because I know you bought new clothes, but I wondered if you cut the sleeves off of them or not. I mean, I want to just mangle the sleeves. I'll probably keep them rolled up okay. or try to buy short sleeves because they probably don't fit very well. Yeah, you probably have short sleeve shirts, but up to his, like, mid forearm, you see there's just covered in, like, dirt. Not, like, smattered or stained to him, but, like, obviously you can tell what he's doing. There's a pile of weeds next to him and some... Cut off stems of flowers, and the garden you passed by last night does look better. Alden, what are you doing before Soul makes it all the way to Mistress? Uh, j just to to make sure, because I know nothing of the Fae, mm -hmm. I'm going to attempt shadow stepping to make sure it works. Okay, roll me a d20. Oh no. Okay, oh, no, no, it works. No. <laughs> There are a chance of it not working. There's a chance of something. Uh. That means I'm gonna do it again, though. Shadow step 19 more times. Let's find out. Yeah. Nothing happens. It's weird, man. You're still good. I mean, the shadows here feel different to step through. And they'll be really, really long. Yeah. Uh. Bouncing back and forth. Yeah, you really you're you're sitting inside the house and you're like table of cabinets. Cabinets to ceiling corner? Ceiling corner to bedroom? Bedroom to table. And you're kinda of just doing that? Oh Okay. One. You wanted to test it. Uh Hannah who? Hannah. Instant. Yeah. Uh can I get a D one hundred? If you fireball the inside of that house while the rest of us are just out and about. His dick grows. Okay. Um, as you step out of this shadow, your 
body feels lighter and your mind seems more focused and everything around you seems clearer and you just feel overall more capable. You know how 2020 yeah. vision level? Nope. <laughs> And after about a minute, it fades. Fuck was that? Did it feel like a drug high? I mean, if you knew what Adderall felt like, probably. I'll go start some of my roommates real quick. I do know what Adderall feels like. I'm so glad you asked. Um, <laughs> but you have confirmed that there is a low chance for something to happen when you shadow step. Shadow stepped and geeked out. Nice. Yes. Um. Is that all you're doing? Yep. Okay. Uh, Pro what? Probably go find Mistress. Okay, so Sol, you get to the manor probably about a good solid, like, minute before all of them, just because he did have to sit there for, like, a little bit jumping around. Uh... As you walk up, the the doors are massive. The handle to it alone to open it is like at your chin. Um, but it's not. Oh, hydration check. It's actually the second one, but you know. Shh, I've been focusing on DMing the Feywild. I'm sorry. I'm just doing it every time I drink water. <laughs> I need to get more water after that hydration check, though. So. Count this scotch as water. What's the minimum amount of water that counts for hydration? What if I eat ice? Drink until you're full. I don't know. I, I guess ice would work. Uh, Soul, as you turn, like you, are you gonna knock? Or you just gonna enter? I'll knock. I'm not rude. As you knock, you soon see, within about fifteen seconds, the door opens and you see the familiar red for a bulb. Uh. Yellow, was it? I'm trying a new thing. Okay. So, what about Yaro? It'll be my fey name. You know how people have different names, different places, right? No, but... Yeah. Okay. Yaro? We can, we can do Yaro. Um, are you here for some food? And she'll open up the door and you do see... Yeah. Time out on Soul Thing. Mistress, what have you been doing all morning? Um... So am I cooking, or is... Like, I can cook. You can cook. But I... Okay. I mean, you can cook. The party he told you about is going to be for dinner. Right. Which I have an idea. Just so the rest of the people aren't scared mm -hmm. of that. Uh, we'll, we'll get to dinner later. Uh, yeah, I'll make breakfast. Um... And just to appease everyone at home... Uh, more sweets. French toast. Okay. Uh, sister will help you with this. And Sol, I should mention- actually, no, you wouldn't have seen him. All of them. On your way to the manor, you do notice a- let me make sure I'm describing him correctly. Tabs of toast. You do notice a seven foot one fur bulk with a pretty hefty build, uh, a very nice gray and white fur, uh, walking through the uh, town square, and he just nods to you and smiles and continues on his way down towards what looks like the gate of the town. Have I. Do I know him? Like, I, I know he's in my notes. You but would do know, I him, know yes. of him or know him personally. You would know him personally. Anybody in your okay. notes you personally know. Okay. That's the th I gave you this seventy-year-old notes. Like you would personally know anybody in what I gave you. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah, it is father. Okay. Um. Um. So do I roll that at normal or because advantage because okay. sister would help you. But all of them you get there shortly after. Uh, soul. As she opens the door, you you smell French toast. Oh, that's not great. That's a little better. You it guys, passes. you guys definitely it, it's good French toast. It's not amazing, but you're teaching her how to make it, and you guys are having mm -hmm. a fun time 
Probably bonding. bonding, yeah. But so as she opens the door, you do see Mistress cooking and plating French toast. Oladim appears behind you moments later. But... All right, we found out anything new. Why were we here? What's happening? Where's a mother? Yellow, let's um, let's eat some breakfast it's first. Not on now. I'm so glad you brought this up. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm trying a thing. It's like my fey name, right? Uh huh. It's ba based on a flower. It's probably here in the fey world, but it's definitely in the material world. I picked an up on fauna. Um, I mean flora. Um, it's nice. Yaro. Look at that. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna ride that high and I'm gonna shadow step straight into the chair on the table. Roll oh, a d20. No. Oh, I see what flower you're talking about. Okay. Nothing happens. But uh, brother and sister do look at you like, oh, I guess, uh, I guess the name does fit as I look in my notes for what name you picked. I guess, Scath. I guess Scath yeah. does fit. Scab. It's on the screen. You changed your name. I could just look there. Yep. yep. And he just looks and nods. Um, are your are the rest of the members of your group joining us? I was cleaning up a garden. And I don't I don't know what uh King's doing. Uh I shall go and get them if nobody has any objections. I shall let Mistress serve you just so there is no well, if, if I had to take a guess, you'll find King probably drawing something. An artist, I appreciate that. And he will excuse himself and shortly if, after... F huh? If I had seen the two of them going to get food, I probably would have finished up. And if Exa had come out before I finished up, I'd try and corral Exa. I don't know where you're at then. I'm just fucking wandering around. I'm sure you see me. It's not that big of a compound. No. But as we'll say, as he exits the building, Val is about to enter and he holds the door open for you. And shortly after finds Exa and uh, King, your uh, mistress has made breakfast if you would like to partake. But. I'll motion you to the house. It's your choice if you go and eat breakfast or not. I'm guessing you're going to. Uh, but you were all together. Breakfast is being served. What are you guys doing? Any talk conversation? Just enjoying breakfast? I'm going to pull from Autumn's queue and just go into a rage and summon lightning. Sure. Oh. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Um, so mistress, forgive me if I if you've told us and I just don't remember. But how long have you been gone exactly? Well, no, I haven't told you because I didn't know the specifics in the messages. Um, what you would call about a hundred years. I kind of sit back in my chair for a minute. That's... That's quite a long time. So, when my brother thought I was dead, he had very good reason to. And what I've learned is... My mother has been gone for, in the scheme of, of your years, just about as long. She's been gone for 70. Falcon kind of shakes his head and completely reevaluates his concept of time and how young he is. <laughs> and that his maximum age is 70. Imagine. Mistress has been gone longer than Val's life expectancy. 
Yara, to answer your inquiries, there was once a dragon that terrorized our home viciously and many members of my clan and surrounding clans went to investigate find some information around his cave and what they learned was magic didn't exist it didn't work around his cave and so for one reason and another my mother stayed to help fight because she got lost but when we were reaching out to my mother that's why our messages didn't come back because I think she's still in that magical void space oh dang well who's gonna get her Let's someone without magic <laughs> I, I I I don't know what to tell you but I <laughs> I think that's pretty much my whole thing your whole shtick my whole shtick thank you um mm, I can't really be of help if I don't have a magic unless I mean there <laughs> There's a spell called the anti-magic field. Now stay with me here. What if I tried to t tweak the runes a little bit to make a spell called magic field, where it <laughs> make magic work what in level? an anti-magic field? What level spell is that? You need to pass the spell to use that spell. <laughs> yeah, it'd be concentration, but I'd be able to. No, no, no. <laughs> it'd be concentration, like anti-magic. But it make magic work in a small area, even if you're in the anti-magic field. Anti-magic field is, I think, third level. Before. Can I counter spell third level? The anti -magic? I think it's an eighth level spell. Yeah, anti-magic field's eighth level. Oh, I'll, I'll just spell you revivify. All this magic talks going on Ravel's head, and he just kind of buries himself in his food. Between the years and the magic. I don't know what's going on. I don't have anything to hit. <laughs> oh, you're gonna hit things eventually. I can't do anything later. So, noticing... I'll re roll an insight before I say that I notice the sense motive of the room. Sense motive? I don't. Okay, everyone's fine. N no one's stressed. It's fine. Why? I'm why, why I'll stay here. Right away. Post in front of you. Exactly. But also, what's there to be stressed about? We just go kill a dragon. Done it before. We can do it again. We killed a small one. Well, we've killed two small ones. And this one. Is nothing like the ones that we saw and fought and killed. Much bigger. Much more pink. Does it bleed? Does it bleed? I'm sure if you hit him hard enough, he would. Then it can be killed. It's dragon. But what about the rest of us who rely on magic? Don't rely on magic. We draw him out. Or her, or it. I don't really know. They? Do dragons have genders? I'm getting off topic. We draw the dragon out. Badem is a she. Badem is a she? I believe so, yes. 
Good to know, like brother. Thank you. Mom. Uh, uh, I'd have to look at my old notes verbatim, but I'm pretty sure it's a she. I always thought it was a boy. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I might be wrong. There's a lot of things in my head. Well, regardless, it'll be dead. I think the hardest part is finding it. Do you happen to know what the lair is? And I look at brother. If I could go with you, I could help you find it, but I, I can't leave this place. Could you point us in the right direction, perhaps? I can tell you that it's north in what I believe your people call the Cardinus Mountains. Our and people? Oh, oh, like equivalent to the Cardinus Mountains in the... But yes, what I, I'm semi-versed in your language and geography. So I would know base ideas. I believe it is the Cryos Mountains, though I could be slightly wrong. It's in that large mountainscape near the north of it. I look at all of them at that mention. I know it's been some time, but were there any rumors of dragons? All of them? I don't say all of them, I say Scaff, because my character is intelligent with an intelligence of plus one. I am not. Nice. Uh, make a history check. Hot damn. 19. Um, you don't remember any specific dragons a lot of your time at the monastery was spent on don't leave monastery grounds do what the monastery tells you listen to us we know best that type of stuff while you know what's around the vicinity and below the mountain to a slight degree you do not know of any specific dragons in the immediate vicinity of your monastery That's no, bud. It's kind of, you know, stuck in lockdown for most of my time up there. I knew it was a long shot, but... Ben, check your DMs. Oh no, not my DMs. I realized just now that I didn't save my thing on. <laughs> um, is there anything we can do to help you while you're here? You're free to stay as long as you please, but I'm aware you have lives and things that need to be done. Well, we'll stay until Mistress is ready to go. Is there anything you would like to do while you're here, sis? Um... I can't take you from the clan as the leader, but I would like to try and get in touch with Delilah. So, like, sit there for a second. Oh, that can be arranged. Um, because maybe she knows the way. Oh, uh, give me a give me a moment. And he will leave for about fifteen minutes. And then, about after about fifteen minutes, you'll hear some cursing, not like angrily but frustrated and you'll hear him wife can you please come here and after a few more minutes they do come out with a small stone 
Uh, it's about three inches in diameter and like oval shaped. Mm -hmm. And he sets up on the table. Um, this is a sending stone that we have with her. It will allow us to call her and contact her and get in touch so you can meet on the other side of the portal when needed. Can I borrow this long term? We would prefer. Do you need this? We'd prefer if you just used it and talked to her on the other side. It's our only way of getting in touch with her when need be. We haven't had to use it in many years, obviously, but it's still nice to know and have, if need be. We ever need to flee from here again or she needs to send people to us it's good to have was the name the material place name oh, the world of is? where or... of where the cave is let me switch to make sure i'm saying the right mountainscape i'm pretty sure it's the Cryos Mountain. Yeah, it's the cryo. It's the northern end of the Cryos Mountains. Uh. So this is still in the twenty-five word limit, right? At a time. Sending stones are a little different. They're kind of linked. They're pretty much a cell phone. Uh, so okay. While individual messages have to be short, it gets cast for free. So. There's some okay. leeway. Um, so, uh, basically, uh, hey, this is sister to uh, Ace Sling Plan's chief leader. <laughs> titles are weird. Um, if you have the time, could you direct us to... I've already forgotten. The northern end of the Cryos Mountains? The northern end of the Cryos Mountains. Within a few seconds, you will hear. Thanks, sister. I'm so glad to know that it wasn't death that got you, but merely just time. Getting you... I can get you to the Cryos Mountains, but this grove, this forest, is my place. I can direct you and I can help for part of the journey. I can get you out of the forest safely. But if I think I know where you're going, I cannot bring you all the way there. Okay. Well, that's... If you can lead us to as far as you know, that will, I will help. I will head back to the Oasis, and I will await your arrival. It's good to hear from you, Pink Sister. It's me, Pink Sister. <laughs> um, I'll just ask how many days she thinks that will take? Uh, I'm near the northern end of the forest, so two or three on my end, but who knows how long that really is for you. Just, I'll be waiting within your shot. I won't go more than a day away. I'll check in every night at the oasis. Does she still? Hmm. She'll have to wait until the next new uh, full moon. No, because you guys can come out whenever, as long as the small ritual is performed. Wait. It's not intensive, but the face I... the face side can open whenever, but going into the face only opens port. Uh... But she's not fearbulk, right? No, she's a wood elf. Okay. 
but she is trusted by the clan as the guardian of the other side of the portal. Is she Fae-born or Material-born? Would I know this? You would probably know that she is Fae-born. Okay. Though has a certain love for the Material Plane that not all Fae share. Okay. So we'll have to get that opened up for her. Um, brother, there's, it's been so long since I've been here. Uh, I, I guess we'll meet everyone at dinner. Um, if you'd like to, is there anything new since I've, is, we've got a little bit of time he, before venturing out, but is there... He will take things a, to do. He'll take a breath and then open the back window, like right above the kitchen, and smell the air. If it uh, looks like it might rain tomorrow, if you wish to take your friends to the Sorrow Falls, it will be a fun day of swimming in the glowing lake. But besides that, the our allies, and he'll look at you very pointedly when he says this, our allies to the southeast or southwest have become more secluded, though still just holding, still holding up their end of the bargain. And I don't think you have time enough to take them to the Light Peaks if you wish to get back so shortly. But besides that, I mean... Feel, I... feel free to explore the town and the surrounding wildlife. Just. I met our new extended family on a beach, and we've spent a large amount of our time in water. I think it'll be good for them to see water again. He smiles. If you wish to go, um, it is. Like afternoon, while you guys mm -hmm. did wake up slightly early, or so Val did, you didn't also go to sleep until material plane like four or five in the morning. It was quite a ways journey, and you were very tired, but we'll call it like nooner one. Um, dinner tonight's going to be at seven, so we don't have enough time to get to the lakes and back, but if you wish to go tomorrow, we can definitely do that. How far it's is about, this Sarah Fault? It's about three quarters of a day's travel. But guided by you two in your homeland, I'd probably say like half a day. So half a day there. And it, we're not talking we'd like we're not talking like twelve hours. We're talking like of traveling day. So it's probably like a four hour walk there, a couple uh -huh. hours and a four hour walk back. So we'd be able to make it there and get back home the next day? like that Yes, night? all in one day. You wouldn't have to like okay. camp in the Fey. Okay. Like you might be trekking a little past nighttime, but with the eternal sunset here, it's not like things necessarily get scarier at night. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, so is that the plan? I, I think so. Okay, um... He'll turn to the rest of the group. The Sorrow Falls is a beautiful place we have here. There's only one word of caution I have for you out there. There is a large entrance to a cave at the mouth of the... At the base of the waterfall, there's a large entrance to a cave. Do your best. We'll just don't go inside the cave. Alright, two comments. One... Oh, buddy, now you know we gotta go in that cave. Two. Yes, why is it called- If it's so great, why is it called Sorrow Falls? That sounds like a bad place, dude. And Not that's... Sorrow, it's Saro. S-A-R-R-O-W. Sarrow I would like to add, why should we not go in this cave? And he'll look down, kind of ashamed. Honestly, 
I don't know. It was a rule set forth by my mother and the clan leader before her. It is just one of the few places in this wild that even us are off limits to. I give Mistress a long look. That says exactly what Exa just said. Like, you know we gotta go now. I I'm gonna, won't I'm take use you. The coin. We gotta go. We have to go. There's no way I'm not going in there. I won't take you if you go in the, to just to go into the cave. No, I'm not going just to go in the cave. I'm oh, taking okay. you to show you the Fae. I will find my own way there and go in that cave. I mean, a nice relaxing swim. We can get a little soak. We can enjoy Traveling the scenery. Cave, and man. then we can go into the cave once we're nice and refreshed. Glowing lake. Going in cave. What was one of the rules? Of the Fae. Go one of them, in. One of them was not going in. You gave us a one lot of, them, of rules. Which one, specifically? One of them was not go off the path. I'm pretty sure there's a clear path to it. He's yeah, saying. there's a clear path to and behind. And into that cave. <laughs> if, if my mother... My mother had good reasons to always teach us to not go in that cave. If I recall correctly, you said do not stray far from each other or off the path. We won't go far, we'll just go far enough to learn why we shouldn't. We won't go in the cave, but then we're going to give Val that look of like, oh, we definitely go into the cave. Is it better to... It's a really... Are we supposed to not lie in the fake? I'm going to going to say we shouldn't we're say we're not going to do it and then do it. Oh, is it, my fingers were crossed, it's fine. Is it better to blindly follow, or is it better to know why you follow? It is better to dive on my haters. I'll keep my word. Okay, well, now I've said that I'm going in the cave, I can't go back <laughs> on that. Oh my gosh, now we can. Oh my gosh. Brother just is sitting there with his hand, like his face in his hand, and he's like, oh, I don't know other Why are your friends so fucking stupid? How long? I how do kind of chuckle and look at Brother like, this is what she puts up with every day. And how we appreciate your it. Have we been together now in material time? Uh, about nearing four months. I'm just, I'm literally, do, like, Mistress is literally doing what I'm doing right now, which is, like, one hand rubbing my left temple out of just, please, not here, not in front of what? my family, not disobeying my mother's rules. Okay, we are not members of this clan. You are, technically. You accept oh, the bracelet. <laughs> we are attached to you. Again, I feel like it's better to know why than to just blindly follow. And we can also go in there respectfully. We don't have to look. Go and kicking. Find my mother. Me. Ask her yourself. Shit. New mission. Find her mom so we can go in this fucking cave. The only reason we're finding your mother. Val thinks about that one for like five solid seconds and just shit. Okay. <laughs> You've got me there. I don't have an answer. <laughs> Fine. Then a nice relaxing spin it is. But if we sneak off, I'm just saying, like. If you sneak off, I can't protect you. My brother can't protect you. Where, where you, you have all heard or... stories of people getting lost in the Fae. <laughs> now, if you get eaten by a griffin, that's your own fault. 
It would be a pretty cool story to tell. Who would tell it? Be eaten by a Mac. Well, I mean, you, presumably, because you didn't sneak off into the cave like the rest of us. Uh-huh. Would I go back to the material plane to tell your family? Oh, Ilya, it was so cool. He snuck off into a cave and got eaten by a griffin. That part kind of sucked, but the rest of it was amazing. And you know how pissed she's going to be? Not very. Not at all. And listen, like X is an alien, Sol is, uh, has family that isn't what to talk to, and Aldum, as far as I'm aware, has no family either, so what's there to lose, right? Which is why you entered the Fae, because you have nothing to lose. Total Don't get yourselves kill. killed on purpose Total in the Fae. Total party kill. TPK, <laughs> TPK, 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 TPK. You're not in the cave. Everyone in the party except the one person with any sense. What I heard was go in the cave. <laughs> There's actually a Fae. There's a fey Tarrasque in the cave, and that's why we're not supposed to go Ooh, in. Ooh, Tarrasque with a bunch of flowers all oh. over. <laughs> in there? Ooh, that's a problem. It's Bulbasaur. Ah, oh, It's Ivysaur. No, it's Bulbasaur. I love that little green scamp. <laughs> <laughs> well, is there anybody you'd like to say hi to, Mistress? We can get, meet, uh, let you meet some of the, or let you say hi to some of the Grey family again. Uh, sh how are the twins? Are the twins married off by now? Give me one second, making sure that I am reading the correct notes. <laughs> uh, Val, if you, um, if the... you are, um, if you feel short next to my brother, you... I'll not feel short next to the twin, or you will definitely feel short next to the twins. How tall is brother? Uh, brother seven is... four. I described him as seven and a half because yeah. it sounded better when describing him. So brother is seven four. A uh, gray father, who's hanging around, is seven one, and sister is six eleven. Yes, Six eleven. Imagine being that short. <laughs> hey, she's taller than Mistress by one inch. Bruh. Um, if, would you like me to grab them? I believe Grayfather was going out today to gather some fresh herbs from the vegetable, or fresh vegetables and herbs from the garden to help make the roast. But I think the twins are still in the house. Would you like to go say hi? Sure. Okay. Uh, would the rest of you like to come, or you're free to explore the village if not? And he'll just kind of, like, excuse himself from the table and start walking to the door. I can certainly help uh, with things. For the, it seems like we have a free day, if you need help with anything. Of course, I mean... The Grey family is very particular about preparing the food, um, secret family recipes and all that bullshit. He'll roll his eyes, obviously not being one of the Fae who likes to cook. Language. I guess I do believe that was one of the rules Mistress told us about. And what rule is that? Watch your language in the Fae. <laughs> Maybe for you other workers, but not for me. Watch your language in the Fae, young man. I just give him a shit eating grin. Like, uh, as he steps outside, for all those who follow, he will point to the ruins. These are what we haven't repaired since Batum's attack. By the way, in case any of you were wondering, we leave them here as a memory of what once happened, and to never let our guard down. Even though there's few of us, we still must survive. You hate to see it. How old are you? And I think how old is Mistress? I don't know if we know. <laughs> and he, he chuckles, that's hard to say. When Mistress left, I was probably nearing. And he does that thing where he like pinches his temple again and tries to like 
count seasons and convert it to time for you since it really doesn't count time. I think I'm nearing 150 material years. Mistress missed a long time, so she's probably still in... He, look, he cocks his head. That put you in your early 30s? Mid-30s? Oddly enough, yes. I remember my 30s. <laughs> what a time. <laughs> uh, he looks at you like you cannot be a day over 25. Cock, 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 cock. Little do you oh. know. Oh, my dog! <laughs> oh. Um, I uh, will uh, go to the rubble and I'll go around and I'll try to cast a spell to see if magic work here. Okay. Uh, give. So are you casting detect magic? Sure. Okay, give me an investigation check lowered because of detect magic. Like, DC is lowered because of detect magic is what I meant. Okay. Um, you always roll well on investigation. It's eight. If there's one is thing... That anybody going with Yarrow while he travels through the rubble? Or is anybody splitting off from Mistress and her brother when they go to see the twins? I'll stick with Mistress. Okay, hold him. No, I'm, I'm sticking with her. Yeah, X, I assume you're sticking too. Are you curious about things? No, it seems like a very bad plan to. <laughs> oh, so... Yarrow. So, Sol, as you venture out and you start. Picking through some of these ruins, the walls are made of stone, and you can see that a lot of like the roofing that collapsed and stuff has either blown away or been picked up and cleaned, but a lot of the large stones and some of even the furniture was left. With that investigation check, as you move a couple rocks, you do find some small shards that make you real in, mem in memory. You find a purple or a pink, black, and white gemstone almost. You find about three or four of them that are these sharp shards of gem. Besides that, you find as you move some of the rocks, you do... There's something crusted to the other side of one, underside of one of them, and as you examine it a moment, you realize that it's it's blood. It's old, dried blood. That probably only still is here because it was face down on the rock. Uh, but it matches up with what they were telling you that happened here. I cast Identify. Is the gem magical in nature? Yes. Very faintly. Uh, I I cast Identify on it. You don't know what it does. You don't know what's infused into it. But you do get a light sense of necromancy magic from it. And they look familiar? Like the ones we'd seen in the... In the dream. Mm -hmm. The ones that were inside Mistress's father and aunt. Yeah. Um, that I also couldn't identify. Yes. Um... And it's not so much you can't identify them, it's just they don't have a specific magic enchantment. It seems like they themselves might be magical, and if they did have an enchantment, it has probably faded over these nearly century. To where it just has a memory of magic to it. Mm. Not good. But da 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 da. I I will collect them and join the group. As you get back to the group, Soul, you don't know why. You don't know how or what. But your heart rate is up and you seem to be having a light sweat. But you meet up with the rest of the group. Uh, well, it took him time to do this. Brother brought you over to one of the houses and knocked politely, and answering one of the doors, 
a towering woman. And by towering, I mean even Val has to crane his neck to look up at around eight foot two. She opens the door and you see a very gentle face and a gray to white fur adorns her body and very casual clothes, a dress of like a nice faded green. Ah, I guess you finally arrived. Must have been late last night. Welcome. Yes. It is good to see um, you, sister. And she'll bend down and give you a hug. Uh, what would I... Gray twin? Twin A? Twin B? Pick a gray sister. Thing one. Thing Usually, two. I mean, you could probably call her the, uh... Sil uh... Sliba sister? And I don't know how to say that shit. Slive. Slive sister is oh, what I... you would call her, and she would be calling you the... I'm, I'm translating this to common because I'm not going to butcher these names. But you would uh -huh. usually refer to each other as the color or name of the house and then brother or sister. And if there is more than three siblings or like two boys, it's youngest brother, like gray youngest brother or something like that. <laughs> but have Give me one boys. second. I have to go to the bathroom. Okay. Well, I figure out what I'm going to call her. Um, give us a Celtic a Gaelic lesson for the homies in chat. And the uh, homies Schleif is mountain. Schleif. How does uh, that spell? S-L-I-A-B-H. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> One of these things is not like the other. <laughs> Um, like... um, Mistress's clan is the Aisling clan, A I S L I N G, which is Dream, which she's Circle of Dreams. Oh, is Aisling Dream or Stream? Dream. Dream. Oh, I heard Stream for some reason. There's a Irish comedian named B Aisling. Yeah. Um, she's great. Um, and then families that haven't been brought up yet. But they have, uh, Irish names too. Gaelic names too. That's so fun. So, is that portal that we came in the only one in Rilt? Um, no. That's, no. Uh, shouldn't be. Okay, hey, I'm back. Sorry, what's up? The portal that we went in isn't the only way in and out, right? Of the Fae? Yeah. No, not even close to the only way in or out. Okay. Yeah, but like the only From one in the out. One. The they only. The, uh, they know of others, but it's the only one within reasonable distance. It would take days of travel to get to any of the other ones they know of. And. While they know where the portals are and they know the vague locations of popping out, their vague location is going to be like, yeah, it's somewhere in the Cryos Mountains. Okay, well, that's kind of what I was wondering. Like, if we pop back out of this portal, it's going to be weeks for us to travel to the Cryos Mountains. But yeah. if there's another portal here in the Fae that's a couple of days away that would put us within a couple of days' travel. But then, after all is said and done, we go back into the Fae? Just to go back down? Or do we travel through the mountains? The mountains, from what Aldum speaks of them, are rather dangerous. So is traveling through the Fae twice. It's fair also, enough. Have you been keeping notes? That depends. Notes on what? We're doing this right in front of the twins. Or one of the twins. She's just chuckling. And uh, you do see her... Your memories. Oh, those. Every night before we sleep. You do see, by now, a another brother. Or, sorry, her brother comes to the door with the same grayish fur. And you can see the 
like the twin like resemblance in their faces it's not just familial it's like you can tell that they're twins but he stands around about seven foot eleven wait 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 i hope not the twins were girls nope eldest child male youngest ch oh youngest children girls sorry you're right i fucking misread my own yeah <laughs> So it's just an older sibling. Yeah, it's just another... Oh, they're both fucking tall, too. Yeah, it's another 8'2 woman. My bad. I misread my notes. Hi, uh... You must be... And, again, their brother also comes to the door, who's 7'11". And smiles. Oh, so these must be the newcomers. Welcome. But... Uh... Yaro, Skaith, King, Val. They all nod and smile at you. You may call us the Grey Siblings or any form of that. We will answer and you can explain who you're meaning to talk to. But uh, our father is cooking a very nice roast as a celebration for tonight, so... If you'd like to come in and have a seat, we can talk. If not... We understand. What are you guys doing? Uh, didn't really have anything to say. I mean, they you probably pass along like some cursory knowledge of what happened. Yeah. And they nod and understand and just look genuinely happy that you're back or like that you're alive. Um. How long have um, the Gray family and Mr. Seal family, have, how long have you lived together? Many generations. We've, one of the founders of, oh, this is the brother talking, um, our parents' parents founded the, this clan. Oh, I believe centuries in the mortal plane. And you watch over the forest here and guard the portal? Uh, our task specifically is the high peaks to the northwest, but we do help watch the forest considering our dwindling numbers as a clan. Val just nods, trying to learn. Um, I did want to check in with Greyfather um, and see if I could help or like help prepare food or the no brother said he's very particular in that kind of dad that is the only one who grills yes. because everyone else will do it wrong. Very much so. But you also remember that he's a very good chef when it comes to some things. If you'd like, we can skip ahead to the feast tonight. If you'd like to do other things, explore or whatnot, go for it. I'm Ben. Oi. Do I... Does no. Yarrow bring up what he picked up? I'll say something about it. Can I do a medicine check on myself? Like an intelligence-based medicine check? Yeah. Or like a you, can make an, you can make a, just a base intelligence check to see what what are you trying to figure out? If the shards did that well, to I you? Got, yeah, if I got the nervous sweats because of that. You... <laughs> no. Don't know why, but you are fairly confident that it was not the shards that gave you that state of being. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll share with them. I would also like to mention that this is going to be my accent if we're going to remain here for a while. <laughs> no, okay. All of you talk like this, and I'm actually quite so out. Mistress has lost her Irish accent while here. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. 
you can just well, do I that one. on command. Yes. Do you I've not have any tricks up your sleeve? Ah, well. Well, once you learn to... Uh, fuck off, Goonie. <laughs> 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 Once you learn to change your form, you kind of have to get good at voices, or it'll be the different people all having the same voice. And I use disguise self to make a furball version of me with yellow fur. <laughs> the furballs. Oh, yeah. The furballs, the gray family standing behind Mistress, look amused at your accent slightly offended by your use of magic, but then have a good humor about it. Sorry, is magic taboo here? Uh, no, it's completely fine, just arcane swords seem to usually be arrogant pricks, but you are also an arrogant prick. <laughs> he smiles, but occasionally. I've learned to be better when, <laughs> in my time away. In our group, the arrogant pricks carry large swords. We turn conventions on their head. <laughs> he chuckles. <laughs> well, I have some things to attend to, but if all is well, I will see you tonight at the feast. And he excuses himself and the sisters do shortly after. Um, what can we do? How many hours do we have? Probably like five. Uh, I guess we just hang out in the village until then. Exploring anywhere in particular or just walking around? Just walking around. Okay. Uh, you're just walking around, then we'll time skip. Uh, as you're all walking around the village you do notice that the orb in the center has gone from a bright yellow and it's now faded into like a purplish and it's starting to become dark blue uh, and you for the last couple hours have been smelling the savory pork that is being roasted somewhere and if you follow your noses you would find that uh over here and near the front of the village uh, there is a pit that has been set up and there is a large dire boar that is being spit roasted and with time passing people bring a few tables out to the common area in front of the house not many the entire clan being six people, seven now mistress. I miscounted that earlier because I forgot the twins and the eldest brother were different. Uh, meats, laughs are had. The pork is delicious. It melts in your mouth. It's I give everyone the like high five. Hey, it's cool. You can eat. Yes, that is another thing. How cautiously do you take your food with extreme conscious <laughs> oh, who, who serves it the uh, gray family or no family? so it's kind of they thought that you might be a little cautious so what he did was once he took it off you know once he prepared it he cut many strips of it and kind of laid it up buffet style on the table so there's roasted vegetables um, some baked potatoes, uh, pork. Uh, there is a thick liquid next to the baked potatoes that would be some sort of gravy. Um, and there's a few other odds and ends, some vegetables you don't recognize. But all laid out on the table. And if asked, Mistress could point them out to you. They taste resembling to some counterparts of vegetables in the material plane, though they just look a little weirder. Like there's some like pink uh, string beans. And, like, there's uh, slices of blue fruit that when you taste like them, they just taste like a much sweeter, juicier apple. But 
It is. Uh, I would be pretty wary of it unless like brother or someone from mistress's specific family served it or until mistress told us to go ahead. But I as like when we were mm. if, if you want to serve them all mistress you can. Yeah I can. Well it's yeah. It was the... either that or I was just going to be like hey it's cool like thumbs up. I mean the rule you gave us if I remember right, was don't eat anything that's fame made, so it kind of doesn't matter who serves it, but yeah, that's all Val has to go off of, was we're family. I don't know if we're family with the Greys. You're clansmen with the Graves, but that is where the line starts to get iffy for your understanding. The mistress, yeah. it would mean family, but to you guys, there's reason to have caution. Not necessarily... DM saying that, but just what you were told. Uh, so from feeding you all for months, uh, all of them's and Val's plates are mainly meat. With a little bit of vegetable because you're growing boys. Uh, <laughs> and I then realized that I eat mostly vegetables. No. You, you realize that, like, on ships, all I get is salt tack and biscuits, so vegetables are a welcome experience. <laughs> you know us? <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> uh, the vegetables, oh, you cook for I, some pancakes. The vegetables the, are roasted. The, greens. Greens. the, vegetables the recipes are cooked that I have are not usually vegetables, which is... Your curry has some vegetables in it. Yeah, but how long has it been since I've cur like made curry? Plus, I haven't had that book. That's true. Since you gave that book to Lily. I gave it to Lily. But stories are exchanged. They tell you of some fey beasts, and you learn from the mountain family that if you had the time, they would take you to the light peaks, and you could spend your time climbing to the peaks and ride griffins. Uh... And they tell you of like the strange flying monkeys and other birds and things that live there and how it's these sheer cliff mountains that have trees growing out of the side of them that the inhabitants live on. Uh, Mistress's brother tells you a little bit about the Sorrow Falls, Sorrow Falls, and clarifies that he brings out this about the size of his hand. You see a crystal a blue crystal and it seems to be pulsating with blue energy not heavily but lightly and he goes these these crystals naturally grow alongside the riverbank or alongside the bottom of the waterfall and inside the lake itself and when a day is overcast and the light from above isn't there the entire lake seems to glow so we're hoping that you have fun with that tomorrow and they exchange small things, and if questions are asked, they're given thorough but kept answers. As in, like, they'll explain to it to you fully, but you always feel like there's something they're leaving out. But... <laughs> Jesus. You two okay? <laughs> Tell them to fuck off. I just muted myself and told them to fuck off. Loki, don't make me. Get up. Oh, Loki. Yeah, there's a car that just drove by out front, and he's like, I must defend the house. Um. Okay, give me one second. How long the He's gonna go in camera. Boof! Boof! So, while he's gone, I got a sad story to tell about Duke. He's getting old. Yeah. Fire alarm, not fire alarms, but smoke detectors make him, like shake Aww. because one went off the other day and he came into my room and climbed onto the bed and like got in the farthest corner possible and was just shaking Aww. and I had to go sit with him for a long time my good boy hates like fireworks he he needs like one of those undershirts so, like, yeah with July, he's, he's, I'm back not, okay, yeah. but is there any specific questions any of you have to, while they're all there it is brother, sister, and then the gray father, the gray eldest brother, and the gray twins.
Wow. What? Just everyone. <laughs> no questions. What? It looks like your return has made the clan quite happy, mistress. Uh, when people think you're dead for a hundred years, uh, yeah. It also means that the extension of my clan isn't only my brother's responsibility. Does that make sense? He's not the only one forced to have children. Oh! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you meant new recruits. Um. No. <laughs> You're family by invitation. That doesn't extend the, the fear bulk in the Fae. Yeah. Most clans are dead or not in the same area to make children with. And, uh, sister will look up. Uh, yes, I had to travel quite a ways before I found this tribe, and if I hadn't taken to a liking to your brother so much, I probably would have continued on. Uh, speaking of other clans, um, the, <laughs> why did I name it this? Uh, the, the Cran clan. Cran. Cran is, is Gaelic for tree. Cranberries? He, your brother looks at you slightly confused. Which is why I have the question marks next to my notes. Um, grandfather Cran, father, mother, it's brother, it. sister Cran. I have. And he looks there and he seems to like put his fingers on his temples again and starts to think. I have no memory of such plan ever, plan ever being with us, sister. Then how does mistress know? Question mark? To be clear, I did hear you, and I'm choosing not to respond. Okay. Pull. I don't know how to respond to that. Um. Okay. Um. What? Where? This is. This is to a uh, sister. Uh, basically asking where her clan is from. Uh, we are from the midday portion of the Fey. Uh, we reside on a mountain next to a volcano. We are the protectors of that area. Um, and give me one second, I have her clan name written somewhere. Uh, It's not Gaelic unless you look. It is Gaelic. Oh, okay. And I'm just gonna go right ahead and retranslate it because. Okay. The Gryan clan or Sun clan. Nice. Um, I left as the youngest daughter who 
had no real place in the plan. Not that I wasn't welcome, just that there was nobody for me to really blatantly say mate with. So I sought greener pastures and found purpler ones and gives your brother like a fucking disgustingly flirty grin. <laughs> Sorry, I swallowed a vegetable poorly. <laughs> it's I been a minute. Your throat. <laughs> <laughs> but I we visited them once uh, right after we got married. It was <laughs> But we haven't visited them since. Valor, are you okay hearing the the mating habits of a of dying clans? It doesn't bother me. Honestly, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, no offense, but I'm stuffing my face. <laughs> it's good food. It's the best food I've had in a while. <laughs> oh, thanks. It reminds me of your food, but okay, more. Okay, thanks. Uh huh. Uh huh. There's just more of your food. There's an endless buffet of your food. <laughs> And everything is spiced so new to you. Like, you've had pork roast before, you've had all this stuff before, but, like, the way they flavor it is just... You can tell that it's fey food. Like, the stories you've heard of, like, oh, food's so good, you, like, dance yourself to death, and all those, like, out-of-there fairy tales that you hear, and, like, all of them have, like, oh, delicious feast. You're like, yeah, those th that part was right. That part was true. But... If there's nothing any of you would like to talk about, then you can retire. Uh, I mean, basically all my questioning of, uh, hey, what's happened? Like, what happened with our mother has been answered. So basically, um, everything else would be like, hey, how have uh, been things for the last freaking century? Um, and then just like telling them what's happened in the last minuscule four months. So they go into depth about when you left, there was about this entire back right corner was still uh -huh. destroyed. And they say that like once a year or like once every decade or something, they'll build a new house just to occupy some time. But that harvest has been good and kind to them the animals there's been no there's been no conflicts with the allies to the southwest there's everything's gone overall according to like great but he does share with you the troubles of trying to have a child and them trying to reproduce and how they've been unsuccessful so far. And tell me how fear evokes root Well, he just no, he's he's trying to no. yeah he's trying to go around it being like, you know, we've been trying for a child, but have been unsuccessful so far. Um, and the Gray so family. So, what were the nieces in the message? He looks at you with that same confused face as when you talked about the uh, Crown family. <sighs> um, but then the Gray family goes into details about the pacts with the Griffins and the understanding has gone great there. There was a slight territory war with a herd of manticores who tried to take over the, the peaks, but it was quickly swept away. Um... They mentioned that they have not heard from the entity on top of the mountains still to this day. But everything's been great on their end, too. Um, saved some sharks. Saved a little girl. Killed some bad guys. Well... 
some guys. It's in the air, whether they were bad or good. Depending on who you ask. <laughs> Most likely bad. Helped a tree. Tree helped us later. Um, more bandits. Werewolves. Or wolf. They listen intently to your stories and pipe in at opportune times and ask questions to clarify, like, were there really two dragons? Like, uh, I'll point to the scrimshaw that are hanging from my antlers. And your brother will get up closer and be like, I saw these earlier, but I didn't know what they were and like examine them. But there's nothing else. Is the sleeping arrangements tonight the same for the other? Um, so I was meaning to ask this morning how everyone had slept during breakfast. Uh, so based on those I answers... I didn't sleep during breakfast. I slept before breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking guy, I'll kick. That is the Don't most Fey thing that has happened since you've been in the Fey. <laughs> but so, how did everyone sleep? This is this morning. Time traveled. Um, <laughs> great. I'm doing perfect. Uh, would I have known how the house was prepared? You were there when it was prepared. So I would have known that there was... You would have done the mental math and been like, so they're either bunking up or Val's going to be a stubborn asshole and sleep on a fucking bunk or in a sleeping bag. Or he's going to be considerate of the people he considers his crew and let them have like, you know what, fuck you guys. Perspective. <laughs> uh, so this the conversation this morning during breakfast. Um, Val, were you a stubborn asshole again? Do you need to ask? You know, there's an extra room in the manor. You know, all of them sleeps in a chair by the fire, right? And he has every day that we've known him. I give up my bed from time to time. And I'm not allowing you to do it again. All right. So you're going to sleep in the manor, Val? Unless Axel wants to rejoin Mistress in bed. And Val just grins. Uh, brother and sister and both you... cock their heads and look at King. <laughs> and I say King. Yeah, my character is not stupid. I am very stupid. I remember these <laughs> things. Um, sleeping situations were tight. Clothed. Um, King does not know. Brother my just real shakes name. his hand at you and shakes his head. Sister, you don't need to explain to me what you have learned and done in the material plane is yours. You are your own woman. <laughs> I possess. I do not possess what others apparently call. Uh, what are they? Reproductive organs? Never heard of them. <laughs> that causes every furball at the table to look at you. And brother just looks and goes, You're lying. Oh no! You stole this. Okay. Every yeah, single like <laughs> eating breakfast table. Every single. F oh, so yeah, this would have been at breakfast. Uh, so only it would be brother and sister. Both stare at your little Ken doll, like, and they just look wow. at each other and look back at you, and then look at each other and are like, without looking up, he calls that a cloaca. <laughs> you know, like a bird has. Otherworlders are so fucking strange. Um, King puts his pants back so, on. Having been around everyone for four months and bathing situations, mm -hmm. especially in that one like lake yep. pond thing, how private has everyone been? With mistress, I'm guessing. I that's, know y'all have seen each other's dick. I'm guess. I was about to say. I'm guessing that's up to mistress of if she 
took enough time or effort to go away from the group when they bathed. Because they've all been very open with each other naked. So Probably it's... not. So Mistress... Because yeah. she probably wouldn't have cared. So everybody... Everybody's scenes, everybody's packages. So Mr. when... Such a bro You're girl. welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Your name yeah. is Mr. Seymour, <laughs> it's bro. That's the most like, thick <laughs> thing I've ever said, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, I know. Um. So at exit dropping trowel and like that comment of like what i do is is in like while i'm a, i'm an adult um it's just king king's just he's an alien even to the material plane the rest of them are are they don't understand a single word you just fucking said. They just nod at you like, makes sense. They, they've just written it off as... They can understand the lessons. The, re the rest of them can reproduce. Yes, they understand that and they get it. They're just writing him off as a weird-ass otherworlder. Okay, that's breakfast. We took care of breakfast. Yes. Back to dinner. <laughs> so Val... I guess. Is everybody retiring to the houses? Do you all stop eating? Do I have to pull you away? I don't know. Is the food that addictive? Yeah. Yeah. Val, Val and all of them Val have gotten to the point in time where they've that, uh, all of them's undone his sash and Val's undone his belt. Oh, they're not standing yet? They're not like standing and like stretching and making more room? Oh no, you stand up to pack more in. Yeah. That's what grandfather always said. And Val's grandfather, coincidentally. <laughs> uh, the families eventually make their way away, um, excusing themselves and um, thanking you for joining them. Or not really thanking, but you know, acknowledging and giving you a... They acknowledge it. We'll say it that way. But... Either Mistress pulls you away or all of the food is eaten. Uh, I'll pull them away before they make themselves sick. Okay. I, Are you I've seen them eat. I kind of know what their at least very full is. Are... Apparently I don't know that they both eat vegetables, but... Are you all retiring to your beds now? Yes. I suppose, but and I look at the other three not mistress, we are still meeting up at one o'clock in the morning to sneak out, right? <laughs> it's a four hour journey through the Fae to get there. By the with will, guides. With With guides. <laughs> with people who know how to get there. Um I guess the question of import right now, Val, are you choosing Brother's old room across the hall from Mistress, or are you choosing the guest room across the hall from brother and sister? I'll take whichever one I'm led to. I'm uh, he will just attempting to be polite. He will just motion and be like, you can have either one. Um, I'll look at Mistress. I cross for me is fine. They might be reproducing, so you might not want that. <laughs> <laughs> Out of earshot of, of brother and sister. One day are we going to have a talk about what you think other worlders know and what we actually know? <laughs> Today's not that day, but... Is it me or to... You. Oh. Val to mistress. Are, are you going to give her the birds and the bees talk? More along the lines of, uh, we're not as young and dumb as you think we are. No, you're young, just not as dumb. Fair. No, you're dumb. You're just not as dumb. Also fair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... King... Scath... 
So, Yaro, you all make it to the house fine. Everything's as you left it. Go inside, find your ways to sleep. Stomach's full, happy. Mistress, as you lead all as you lead Bao to his door, and go inside your own room. Bao. As you enter the room, it's not a guest room. It looks like a child's room. There's The room's been painted pink. There's a bed fit for a girl probably Lily's age. There's toys on the ground, clothes that would match the size of maybe somebody Alden's size. An oversized child for sure, but probably something you'd expect from somebody about the size of a fur bulk. It's not the guest room that brother told you it would be. And now we're going back to the other chat. Hey. What's up? I thought I went to brother's room. You not did. The you did. Okay. And does it look like freshly prepared or does it look like brother's old stuff? Make a stuff? investigation check for me. You can't tell how recent, but it doesn't even seem like it's been recent enough for dust to collect. Okay, that's enough for... Mm -hmm. That's enough for me. Okay. okay, we can go back. Val, you enter the room. What the fuck just happened? <laughs> Don't ask questions. Uh, what just happened is Roll20 rolled me a 16 on the die. On the digital die and a freaking seven. <laughs> I don't know. It didn't. So I, the digital die didn't even pop up for me. Wait, let me. Yeah. Oh, it's me. It's not even my color. Yeah. Anyway, no, it's, moving yeah. on. Uh, I'm gonna leave and go find brother. Okay. So you take in what you see. You back out of the room and you head across the house to brother and sister's door. I'll knock politely. Uh, it, yeah, don't burst on them. <laughs> um, <laughs> right? You see, I don't know how I can take them. Coming to the door, uh, you see, still in his pants, probably like he was in a state of undress, but shirtless, armor off. Brother, answer the door. Uh, Val, how, how can I help you? I... Uh, I... Uh... Don't mean to interrupt, but, um, did you, is your old room furnished for someone else? I'd, I can sleep in the guest room if that's... No, it should be just bed and nightstand like it normally is. I haven't been in there in, God, maybe a decade. Why don't you follow me then? Okay, and he'll turn his head and you hear him you hear him whisper but loud enough for you to hear just like, I'll be right back, honey. And he And I'll as we walk doesn't I'll... even put a shirt on. And he is ripped, by the way. Yeah, okay. Nice. I'm, of I'm not he is. a little jealous. Um but... As we walk down the hall, I'll describe what I saw and like open the door for him to look in. He looks completely disturbed in not understanding what this is. Could your wife perhaps have come in in preparation for I know you, you said you've been trying. But if we, it, um, if we we did it'd be baby stuff. And he just, he, he looks, you've seen sailors in shock after being pulled back from going overboard or something, and he looks like he's in shock. Like, he looks like his head is in a constant whirl of, what the fuck? I'll put an arm on his shoulder and kind of pull him back out of the doorway, lean back out of the room and close it. He, like, leans up against the wall and, like, sinks down to the floor. 
and his it looks like it looks like something's going on in his head, but you can't tell what. I'll walk across the hallway and knock on Mistress's door, and ask her to come out. Mistress, you hear that? I'm muted. Uh, <laughs> do I immediately see my brother in a state? Yes. Do you see your brother slumped against the wall, ha uh, elbows on his knees, hands on his forehead, looking very pale and like in shock? You've, you're a medic. You've seen people in shock before. What? I gestured at him and just kind of give you a look if I don't know what the fuck. Um, I, I opened the door and it looked. It's just a little strangely furnished, so I asked brother, and I I don't know. I'm going to go get his wife. Uh, before you get, what's wrong with the room? I I don't think there's anything. Have a look. Was this okay? So was this? This wasn't brother's old room. This was just nope, the guest. This room. was brother's old room. Okay. Uh, so as, would I know what it looked like a hundred years ago? Yes. Okay. Very similar to your room, though slightly different colors. Uh, yeah. And I'll just say this out loud because the rest of the party will know now. As Val opens the door, you see a child's room. A room of probably a girl, maybe seven, eight, nine. Some toys across the floor. Some clothes folded on one of the uh, shelves. Looks like it couldn't be more than a week or so in unuse. Uh, one girl? Like one child? Uh, yeah. I mean, like, it's hard to tell. There's a single bed. There could have been, like, th theoretically, there could have been, like, twins living in the room. It doesn't scream anything that says two different aged children. I'll tell Val to not speak with sister yet and keep my brother company. And I'll run to the other room, the guest room. You do so, and it's remotely as you left it. Uh, furniture's been redone and such, but the overall layout and ideal of it is the same. And there's, I would know that there's no other bedrooms? Not in this house, no. I'll go back to my brother, and like I'll sit he, on the floor with him. He's, he's recovered his composure now and all that, and he's just like, I, I, I don't understand. I haven't touched that room in nearly a decade. How long ago, how long were the messages, how far in between were the messages that we were sending? There was a few where there was multiple in a day and then a few, like a week or so before the next one when you told me you were coming and then it's been Nearly two weeks since then. When I told you you were come, we were coming. You were so happy for me to meet my niece. I have no memory of saying those words, sister. I remember Whose saying that, that I wanted you to meet my wife. Whose room is that? He looks you dead in the eyes, and I honestly cannot tell you. It was my room up until I got married. The sister. My I'm wife. Gonna... Inside, check my brother. seems to be telling the truth. Okay. Do you want to cut it here? Nope, I want to do one more thing. Okay. Oop. What are you, what are you, before I do this, what are you three going to do for the rest of the night? You, Val, and your brother. 
Um, um, can I... Um, uh, can I detect magic in yes. the room? Yep. Is it like nope. enchanted in such a way? Nothing. Not a hint of magic besides the natural magic that embodies the Fae. Then I will talk with Sister. Do they recognize any of these clothes? Or anything in this room? Is any of it recognizable? Sister recognizes a wooden doll that used to be her own. But besides that, they recognize none of it. And Sister also mentions that the way some of these clothes were made is very attuned to how she makes her own clothes. But she also goes through a minor fit of shock. And just not remembering. I've heard souls speak of magics that mess with time and obviously leaving the fae we stand a chance of losing time but time is Memory for you, losing, leaving the memory, yes, but we're not supposed to be affected by that. We've never been affected by that. Not in the hundred years, this, not on the hundreds of years this planet has existed, have we ever been affected by memory like that because of this place. I never thought I'd be on a plane that wasn't the material. You guys doing anything else? Gonna sit there and talk for how long? Um, I won't sleep in that room. I'll go take the guest room. Okay. Guest room seems completely fine. The brother and sister and Les talk to kind of help each other up and make their own ways to their room. And just kind of talk quietly to each other. Mistress? Um, if you wanted I, to, I would sit with you for a while and talk if you want to try and talk through it, but it's more confusion because hey. Um, yes, but also, is there any, so there's stuff, of course, and toys and stuff, but there's, is there any fragments that there was ever life in that room, like fur or hair? You do see a or... brush on the nightstand that does have some, what looks like a deep purple what you would probably assume is what happens when the vibrant red and the violet collide in it. And the toys and clothes definitely don't look randomly scattered. They look, or sorry, they look randomly scattered, not placed, as if this was actuality of something happening. Um... So I don't sleep the rest of the night. And uh, other... go ahead. Go, no, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, and so whether Val doesn't also sleep for the rest of the night, or just like for a few hours and goes back to his own room, that's his thing. But Mistress won't be sleeping. While we sit and talk about that for a minute, mm -hmm. and you investigate and find it looked lived in, something kind of clicks. And I just, I'll be right back. And I run out and find all of them. Funnily enough, all of them. That's me. 
Soul and Exa. I would say that the entire thing with questioning the brothers and sisters and that probably took about an hour and a half. To calm them down, to get them to say stuff. About 30 minutes after you fall asleep, Sol and Exa, you hear a loud crash in the main room where Oladim stays. You hear Oladim exclaim, Fuck, get out here. And as you exit your room's weapons drawn, Oladim isn't in his stool, but he's in the corner on top of the cabinet, seeming like he just came out of a shadow. Oladim, you have no memory of how you got to the top of those cabinets, but as you look down to your knuckles, you notice that there is this tiny bit of a vibrant green blood dripping off of the spikes on your knuckles. And that is what we're in tonight's session. That's not okay. <laughs> That's no. We're gonna play for another hour. Nope. So I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Sorry we went a little late, but I wanted to get that point before cutting it. Sphinx. Sphinx, make him play for another hour. Sphinx, hold me. <laughs> Sphinx, get over here.